Hey, this is YPR with the early access version of Cosmic Trip. Right now, we're basically in the main menu. We have two choices. We have tutorial or survival. We're going to go with tutorial because if I jump right into the game, I'll have a bad habit of forgetting to explain things that I should really explain. If I go through the tutorial, I won't forget to do that. So basically, collect resources, destroy enemies, capture towers. So how do you destroy enemies? Well, you pull up the weapon by hitting the touchpad thing right here. And your weapon's basically a set of frisbees. And you can throw them just like a real frisbee and hit the enemies like that. And they do have a little bit of a homing effect on them so you can kind of see, go away. And it'll do that right there. And you can throw them either way. You can throw them like a real frisbee, kind of like that. Or if you wanted to, you could also chuck them like this. And I actually like chucking them like that because I feel like I'm a little bit more accurate throwing it like that. And one thing that's cool, you'll notice it always curves to that way, right? But if we flip the controller the other way, It'll curve the opposite direction. It's like realistic frisbee physics. Anyways, the game's telling me stop using your weapons and use the vacuum. So you can use the vacuum to like teleport from place to place. Yeah, how do you use a vacuum to teleport from place to place, right? Well, it's actually thanks to this rune. You pull that up and it's basically a teleportation window. Walk through it, boom. You're at the next area. And you'll see all around you there are more of those, except they're locked, so we can't use them at the moment. Talk about that later. Oh, by the way, that's your friend bot. And he'll wave to you and you can wave at him. And you can wave as much as you want. He'll always be happy to wave at you. He is a very friendly robot. I don't think I've waved enough. One more time! Okay, that's enough waving. So now I'm going to press the main menu button. So this is where you build everything from. First thing we're going to build is something that allows us to build more robot. So that's this thing right here. And you can build this wherever you want. And everything in the menu does have a cost. You have two currencies. You have gems, which are those things right there. And then you have ectoplasm, which is collected from enemies. So anyways, the thing we built right there, that's made to build robots, but before it can build anything, you need to give it a battery to power it. So you plug the battery into there, and then you can use it to actually build a robot. To build a robot, you just pick the robot you want, and then you stick in the card, and it'll build one of that robot, and then you'll have to get a new card when you want to build more of them. So the robot I just built is one that will collect gems from over there. So go collect! I like to just throw them around. Like, they float, so they, they probably enjoy it. It's like a roller coaster to them. Anyways, wants me to press the menu button again because we're going to build something else. We're going to build the refining or collecting station. I figured exactly what it was called. But basically, once the robot collects stuff from over there, he'll bring it to here, and this will collect it. Again, does not have a battery. needs a battery. Robots never need batteries, though. They come pre-charged. Super convenient. So now that there's actually one of those, he'll actually collect and deposit. Alright, so, just telling me exactly what I just told you. Oh, and it says to check your economy, you twist the controller, you can see we have 23 jewels and 6 ectoplasms. Okay, it is ectoplasm. I was pretty sure they called it ectoplasm, but I couldn't remember for certain. And once we get 30 of these, we could build something else, and we could also build more robots soon, and I want to build one of everything in the tutorial, and then we'll go ahead and hop into the actual survival mode. Because tutorial is easy enough where you can survive forever, it seems like. Or until your computer blows up. Whichever happens first by spawning way too many robots. Anyways, tutorial is done at this point. I'm just waiting on a few more of those. Well, actually, you know what we could do? We'll build the other robot first. So at the moment, there's only two robots. In the future, there'll be probably eight, maybe even more if they decide to add pages. But right now, there's just two. The one that collects things, right there. And then we have... The one that actually will shoot enemies. So he's pretty useful. We'll go ahead and put the card in there. Build one up. And just wait for it. There he is. So wave one incoming. So that means there'll be some things for him to shoot. Over there. You storm him in the general direction. And then he will shoot them. And of course you can always back him up. With frisbees. I was going to kill that one jerk and I don't see any more but sometimes when you kill them you'll see little green things floating in the air ectoplasms you just pick them up by vacuuming them like let's say uh, my robot was one right scoop there we are hi robot put you right there I don't want to drop you on the ground see he's always so happy and we can wave again hi robot <laughs> I was like waving at the robot all right so we need 30 jewels. We are currently at 26, so he brings two more back, and we can build the last thing that's currently in the game. And I'll show you what that is, then we'll pop into survival mode. Un unfortunately, 
I don't think there's a way to actually go into survival mode from the game itself. He's waving at me because I talk with my hands. But, um, where are we at? 28. Come on, one more. Yeah, we'll just take these guys down the normal way, I guess. Chuck it like that. That never works out well for me. Like, unless they're really far away and I'm just going for the lucky shot. Oh, just hit my own robot. All right, now we have 30, so we can build the last thing I haven't shown you. It is a D Cosmo turret. I wanted to say it was defense turret, but it's Cosmo turret. So we split that right there. And this is not a robot. It's something you control. Oh, do I have enough? Okay, good. I have enough ectoplasm. Hi, robot again. So now we can build a battery real quick and shove that battery into there. And then you just go like that, and you can shoot enemies with this. Doesn't do as much damage as a frisbee hit does, but it has rapid fire abilities and it shoots in a much more linear path, so it's much easier to hit somebody that's far, far away from you. And if you're done with it, you just pull your arms apart, whoop, and then it goes away. And robot will wave at you! Hi, robot! Hello, friend! I like him. Anyways, there's actually enemies coming, so we'll go ahead and pick this up. Oh, there they are. You can see shooting at them before the robot's laser hits it. Usually you can hit them in like two frisbees, but you see here it's taking multiple ones. And hey, there's the ectoplasm. So you vacuum it in. And that's basically the mechanics of the game. But I don't want to continue doing this in tutorial mode because as I said, tutorial mode is super easy. So we're going to move to survival mode. But in survival mode, or to get to survival mode, I don't think there's a menu button to do that. You hit the buttons on the side of the controller. They don't do anything. You hit this one, the slidey pad thing. That just swings from weapon or vacuum. Back button, that activates what you're using. And this one pulls up the game menu. So, the game menu doesn't have a switch to survival mode button. Just map change, build, 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 and nothing, which I'm assuming where that button will someday go. So I will be right back as I take the VR headset off and go to my computer and turn it off. Okay, so here we are back in the menu. Now, to survival mode. So same exact as before, but um, the enemies are a little bit more difficult. Whoop! Also, you don't have a robot telling you what to do, so you gotta know what you're doing beforehand. Otherwise, you would be very, very confused in this situation. So we'll try to build this pretty close to the edge, but it almost will let you actually build things too far away and then you can't use them. So, yeah, try not to do that, but try to get them as close to the edge as possible so you can fit as much as you possibly can in the area you have. So go ahead and build a collecting robot. And we have 48, so we'll build also a couple of laser bots. First, refinery. I guess we'll have enough for one laser bot. Put the battery in! Hi! He's like right in my face. <laughs> oh, enemies. Also, you could do this. <laughs> you could like use it as a saw blade and just whack at them. Suck it in. Alright, so as I was saying, we can go ahead and build a laser bot that'll shoot the enemies for me. Now the turret, I don't really use that much. Like, to me, it's much more useful to have laser bots or just throwing things. I like throwing things too much. That's the problem. Throwing things is fun. And I'm not sure where the enemies will be, so I'll just put them... Well, not that high. Put them right here. You can shoot anybody now. Since we have a little bit of resources, though, we can go ahead and build another collector or two. Now, eventually, you can overload this by having too many robots delivering to it because it can only collect so fast. So then you have to build more of those. I think it's like six or so per one. Alright, let's go! See, I like throwing them like this. I do pretty good like that. Collect those ectoplasms. Wave to the robot! <laughs> I like him, he's just so cute. Alright, go ahead and menu up. Build some more of these dudes. Gotta wait a minute for it to uh, activate up. Actually, since this one's so close to here, you might only need like four and then it's basically at its capacity i don't know we'll go with five i mean we could always just build an extra tower if this one gets too filled up anyways getting those resources and your goal is just to survive and eventually you know you'll fill up this area say oh gotta go somewhere else and you start here all over again or you could try to really spread yourself out that's not my way though i like staying in one spot securing the area and then going to the next one yeah, we'll build one more. What the heck? Whoop! 
And I think the batteries will eventually die, or I always accidentally pull them out and lose them. I'm not exactly sure which, because I've... I had the batteries die, I thought, but then I realized, oh wait, I accidentally pulled it out once. <laughs> so I don't know for sure. Hi again! Hey, there's enemies, stop distracting me. I like you too, but we gotta get these dudes. Oh, I'm missing, this is bad. Hey, I was gonna kill that. <laughs> Bruh, stop killing all, taking all my kills, I was gonna get him. I mean, I, I was gonna, I didn't, but I was gonna. Alright, see, this is getting overloaded. So it is time for us to build... A uh, second one of those. And we'll just try to keep it right near that one, although can't seem to get a placement the game approves of. There we go. Hello! He's getting way close to me. What's he doing? Sometimes the menu is like, you can't click it, I've noticed. There we go. Usually if you fix it, just pull up the menu again in a new location and then you can click it. Eventually you'll work though too if you just keep clicking. Grab another laser bot. Throw some frisbees. Back. Grab the ectoplasm. Laser bot. Um, let's go over there for now. And now we're getting resources at a fast enough rate where we can keep building laser bots. And also we'll build more of the collectors too, although they seem like they're still overloading these. So we'll build another one of those too if we, uh, yeah, we'll have the resources in a minute. For now, more of these guys. Hi! He just likes waving. And he's the one playing the music, by the way. So, if you go somewhere without him, no music. You could take things with you, by the way, through these portals. Like, you know, if you wanted music guy, I wish you. Where'd he go? Wait, the way over there. Come here. No? Come here. Not you. Go away. There we go. Oh, now the portal's gone. But see? Whoop! And he's with us. Alright. Now we gotta go back and save my stuff. Oh, there's some new enemies. So, you know, higher level, harder enemies. These guys take some hits. And I'm not even hitting them. And you can hit the uh, things they shoot at you. Oh, don't hit my robot. See, like I said, I like throwing it like this for the range. I feel like I have more precision. There goes one of my bots. Down for the count. Also, I think in tutorial mode, the robots don't die. I don't know. I don't think they did. Like, I had so many, I couldn't tell anyways. Like I was saying, one more collector. Also, maybe the ratios for even the rate that things get collected could be different from tutorial to the real one. Everything I did was in tutorial, unfortunately. And there. So we got another collector up to hopefully, uh, deal with all of these minerals these dudes are bringing me. Gotta do some throwing here. Oh, by the way, you can pick up their attacks, too, and throw it back at them. That actually works pretty well as well. I forgot about that. Except, I don't think these things get homed in. Like, uh, the frisbees, so it makes it a little bit harder. Okay. Grab this. Get out of here. That's what I do, is I protect the robots, and then... They'll shoot him eventually. Hey, you guys, you can, uh... I like them right above me. Because then I don't have to worry about them being all far away and getting hit. So just set them right there. Right there. And they can shoot things. And these robots, unfortunately, are using only those ones. That, I think, is kind of like a known issue. I think they go to, like, the closest one or something. That one's a little too far. If I wanted to, though, I can kind of just... Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I thought you could do this, but maybe I imagined it. Eat the... Nah. Or maybe if I throw them on the floor, the robots will bring it to the right one. I don't know. Either way, we got some discs to throw. Throw it harder! Not that hard! No hitting my robot! I almost just flung that into my robot. That was great. Alright, robot, you just keep shooting them because they're too far away from me. And I'll protect you safely. Good job, robot. That's why it's good to rely on the robots. So grab another guy to shoot things, and I'm gonna just try to grab some of these off. It's hard to grab them, it seems like. Eh, 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 see? Well, there we go. If we just make them fall... Oh, I pulled the battery out! See, I told you I'd do that sometimes. 
Huh? Huh? <laughs> can go up there with the other guys. Alright, we got resources to blow. Let's just keep building bots to shoot at them. And put them right above my head. But yeah, that's, um... That's basically how the game works. You know, eventually you'll have way too many robots than you know what to do with. Watch out, friendly robot! Just protect your robots. You could play it in a totally different way. You could be totally, I'm gonna kill everything with the turret. Not my style. To me, it's just more fun doing it this way. Hi, robot! Build more turrets. And at this point, we could really just go somewhere else since the robots are so dedicated to these. Or, we could try to put one so close that it'll bounce it to that one. I notice that they kind of do that sometimes. So maybe it'll be able to, like, whoop, right onto it. We'll see. I don't think it'll work, but it's worth a shot. There we go. That'll help collecting. Put that battery back in, and I can't reach the, uh... Yeah, that was smart, wasn't it? Come here, robot! Oh, enemies! That's not the discs. Look at that! Like, they just wrecked them! Good job, robots. If only I could build more of you. I can't reach it. Ugh. See, I feel like I have to move around it, but, you know, I don't. I can actually go through it. VR, man, it'll confuse you. I gotta stick my head in it. Unless there's actually a wall there, and then in which case I would just confuse myself and whack my face. Come here, other shooter. Throw you up there with the other guys. Got a pretty good number going. I can't collect there. No! See, I'm afraid to go through it. I don't know why. I can walk right into it. It's just, you know, it, it, it don't feel right. That's all. Don't feel right at all. Wrong robot. Right up there with the other guys. And your goal is just to uh, survive at this point. I mean, it's survival mode. Well, here's a new enemy. It's this giant orb thing. And, uh, yeah, lasers do a good job of wrecking things. YBRs do a good job of missing things. Thanks, guys. You did all the work. I did nothing. So now the orbs are, or the gems are bouncing off between them, so I think it's at least making them collect it a little bit faster. Anyways, build another one. Yeah, there we go. In we go, and I went right through it that time. I remembered. Hey, what are you doing over there? Up you go! Oh, he's a little high. Not that high. Come on, come here! Come here! Come to my hands! Into the air with you! I'm still happy in this area. Like I said, I like building up one area as much as I possibly can, and then I move on. See, it goes from here to here to here. It works perfect. Give me a robot. Oh, there's enemies. No hurting my robots. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Robot, come back to safety. Give me the green. All right. We could build, you know, we could just keep building these collectors until it actually stops having so many. Hmm. Didn't really have a good spot for it though, do I? You can set it somewhere over here. There. Might be able to reach from one to the other, don't know. That's pretty far. Don't think it will. Maybe the robots will know better than to uh, bring it to the wrong spot. In the update they will. Just probably not yet. See, but we are accumulating those gems faster than I can use them. Even though, like, it's, uh, the way it is. Come here! Come here! Come here! Up you go! Build another one. Wave 12! How long will we last? Well, we could last longer than I could probably, uh, feel like making a video. 
It seems like we're doing pretty solid so far, and I've heard, uh, if you last long enough, the game will just crash. Hey, I helped you guys, for once. Aren't you proud of me, robots? He said, boo! He means he's proud of me. Come on, bring it to there. Like, they just like that one. Whoop! There goes the ba oh, battery into the thing. Robot into the air. Into the thing. Can we can we build? Yeah, another one of those. Let's go where I can see things actually. Can I put it like? Eh, eh, eh. It feels like I should be able to put it over here, but guess not. I could put it here, but I don't think the robots will go to there. There! There's a good spot. Battery it. Ah. Battery it. And now we gotta throw at these guys. The overhand works great! Whoa! I think I might have lost a couple. Oh no. I'm so bad at protecting you guys. I was shooting them instead of protecting. So sorry, robots. I lost the battery again. See, either I'm losing them or they die. I don't quite know. I have a habit of grabbing everything. Like, I would think maybe that blue line is their capacity? Because I noticed the difference between them. So there you go. The batteries are dying and I'm not just pulling them. There we go. I'm still learning things, and I'm explaining things better. Unfortunately, people have already said the lines mean the battery capacity 10 minutes ago from watching the video before I uh, had a chance to learn that. Come on, come on. Come here, both of you. Up you go. And I could build another machine to build them. Since I'm getting, well, I'm kind of at ease with the number of resources I'm getting. Like, I don't think it's quite there yet. Oh, oh! Controller freaked out a bit. Shoot him! Shoot him! Yeah! Teamwork. Let them do the shooting and I protect them. Anyways, though, I think, um... This will be a good enough place to uh, end this video. So, till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya. <gasps> Wave! He's not waving! Ah, there we go. <laughs> ah. Wave again, come on. Yeah! I don't know why it's so fun to wave at him! I mean, I'm not even waving, I'm just flailing my arms like a maniac. <laughs> Alright, bye VR. See ya.